Greetings guys, this is Magnanimous Lectures Online. Today we are treating an Industrial Electronics N2 Test 1 question paper which was written on the 2nd of October 2019. Question 1, it's about uh, Kishov's laws. So, the first question says Kishov's laws Kirchhoff's law comprises the current law and voltage law. With the aid of a circuit diagram, show the current law and the voltage law using only three resistors. We'll start with the first law, which is the current law, which states that the total current flowing towards a junction is equal to the total current flowing away from that junction. And with the aid of a circuit diagram, that means Resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3, got I total, then we've got uh, I1, got I2, got I3. So what this means is that the current that's going in to this junction, which is IT, it's equals to the sum of this uh, splitted current so that means i1 plus i2 plus i3 equals to it there's uh, the first law let's just see the current law and the voltage law which states that uh, in a closed loop the algebraic sum of the emfs acting around the loop equals to the algebraic sum of the potential differences across uh, I mean around that loop so let's try to draw a second diagram that represent that ET here resistor one, resistor two, resistor three, got I. So there's our EMF and then we've got V1, V2, V3. So this voltage law means that the total EMF equals to the sum of these voltage drops which is V1, V2 and V3. And that's it for question 1.1. Then question 1.2 
has this circuit diagram and we are told to calculate the total resistance of the circuit the total current flowing in the circuit the value of i1 and i2 and the total power consumed by the circuit so firstly we we'll have to calculate the total resistance and when we do that we'll start uh, 1.2 I'll divide this like this. So we'll start off with this part which has this resistors. It's R1, R2, R3. That's R1 and then R4. We'll add these two to make one series resistor and to make one resistor since they're in series and also add these two to just make one resistor and we'll end up with two resistors in parallel. Then this one is going to be 40 since there's 40 ohms and 60 ohms there's 40 ohms again then there's 60 ohms we add this to we're going to get 100 ohm and 100 ohm again this is the first part for these resistors and then we add these two since they're in parallel to just get one resistor and doing that we are going to get uh, it's going to be r equals to 100 times 100 over 100 plus 100 punch this into the calculator 100 times 100 100 plus 100 this gives us 50 ohm and then in this part we're going to end up with just one resistor in parallel to this resistor it's going to be like this and if you check there's 50 ohm this is 5 ohm if you check this Two resistors are in parallel so we add them to just get one resistor and when we do that it's going to be r equals to 50 times 5 over 50 plus 5 and we get 15 times 5 over 50 plus 5 we get 4.55 Ohms. and after doing that we remain with just one resistor here so let's see that resistor is here and it connects to this node and connects to this node and this line which has the battery and also this line with this resistor and if you look at this you'll realize that the resistor that we remain with here and this one they're actually in parallel since they share the same node here so we add the two so we're going to have something like this got that battery another resistor so this is what we have 4.55 ohms and 10 ohms adding the two to get just one resistor which is connected up across the battery let's call this rt rt will be equals to 4.55 times 10 over 4.55 plus 10 therefore rt equals to then it's going to be 4 0.55 times 10 over 4.55 plus 10 
this gives us 3.127 ohms that's our RT and we done for question 1.2.1 and then question 1.2.2 says calculate the total current flowing through the circuit so we know that since we ended up with one resistor that's connected across a battery and that resistor is rt which is equals to 3.127 ohms and the battery is 12 volts so our I that's flowing the circuit which is IT goes in that direction so there's positive and negative and we use ohm's law which says VT equals to IT RT so total voltage equals to total current times total resistance making I subject of the formula we get VT over RT substitute what we have is 12 over 3.127 and we end up with 12 divided by 3.127 is 3.84 3.84 Question 1.2.3 says the value of I1 and I2. So to get that, we go back to this diagram. I1 is here and I2 is here. So I1 is the current that flows through all this resistance here. I2 flows through this resistance. So we'll just use calculate the total resistance of this part and let I1 flow through there and make the calculations so doing that we end up with this and this and that's where we do our calculation let's draw that it's like this I2 we've got 10 ohms, 4.55 ohms, and then we've got uh, 12 volts here, negative, positive, and we know that IT equals to 3.84 amps. So using the current division formula, we know that I1 equals to let's say this uh, r parallel and then this is r this is r it's just given as r so let's write it as r so i1 is going to be r over r plus r parallel all times it if we substitute what we are given, we're going to get 10 over 10 plus 4.55 times 3.84. If I punch that into the calculator, it's going to be 10 over 10 plus 4.55 times 3.84 we get 2.64 amps i2 is given by r parallel over r r parallel plus r multiply by it which is 4.55 over 10 4.55 plus 10 
multiply by 3.84 we get i2 as i2 as uh, 4.55 over 4.55 over 10 plus or over 55 plus 10 times 3.84 and we get 1.2 amps let's add the two and see what we get 2 plus 2.64 which gives us the total current which is 3.84 that's uh, 1.2.3 then 1.2.4 says calculate total power consumed by the circuit so pt equals to vt i t which is 12 times 3.84 therefore pt equals to 46.5 and that's it for question one.